Catherine Hahn, thank you so much for being here. We really, really appreciate it. You look great. Where are you and how are you and who are you with? I, I'm with no one but my, the voices in my own mind. I, I'm in my garage right now because it's the quietest place uh, <laughs> in the house. And I don't, inter I don't want to interrupt the multiple schools that are happening online in, <laughs> in the house. So I'm yeah, in my man. garage right now. Yeah, like I'm, <laughs> like I'm surrounded by like bikes. This is like the garage, like there's some random yoga gear that like no one's really used. I have, oh, this is, this was my, this is hey, special. We thought, that's for, this was for, my friend gave me this and we thought maybe for Easter, the kids don't really believe, but I thought it would be fun this Easter if I woke them up wearing this. And then I'm so, I mean, <laughs> who isn't so tired and out of it? They're 13 and 10. And I was so tired and out of it. I literally wore this, walked into the room and I went, because I'm still out of it. <laughs> I literally walked in and went, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> and the kids were like, <laughs> get out. That, that sealed get the out, deal. Mom. Anyway, poor mom's losing it. I want to play Fortnite. I love Fortnite. Do you have any, have you, have you played Fortnite? I did. I tried to play it once and I really, I was like the character, I was like the character in Blair Witch, like in the corner, just like. I couldn't get out of the corner, Jimmy. Like I was just stuck in the corner. My kid was laughing so hard he was crying. I was like, I was like, how do you get out? I was just literally like banging my head in the corner, just like with random objects flying around. Like, I couldn't figure it out. I've I never I love felt this, so this inept. Is you play, this is you playing Fortnite. That's in the corner, <laughs> just like in the corner, back to it, just like. <laughs> And people, was, just kill, people were just killing you? Just throwing things at me. I didn't know what was happening. There was like a force field that kind of swept over me and then I was just gone and I didn't know what had even happened. Yeah, and I was like, uh, well, that was fast. And it was humiliating. I want to talk about your HBO uh, series with uh, Mark Ruffalo. This is a, I know this much is true. This is the Wally Lamb book that uh, everybody was talking about. I think it was on Oprah's, it was one of Oprah's first book club books. Major, major book. Uh, everyone in the world bought it and, and owned it. I own it. I didn't really read it, but it's on my stack of books I should have read. I had not read the book before um, I got uh, before I got the meeting for this gig, and then I read the book and the adaptation in about a week's time. And it was like, you know, this is a gorgeous, like, pretty dense seven hundred page novel, and the adaptation also was like a pretty sizable amount of material. But I just devoured it, and I knew. I mean, Mark is so extraordinary, and I knew that he was just not going to leave anything on the table. Playing these two parts, he plays um, twins in this. Um, him, he plays um, uh, one of which is, a, is he plays a, a brother and a schizophrenic brother, and he. I just knew that it was going to be just to bear witness to him doing this was just going to be once in a lifetime. And I, I just, he, of course, it's just so extraordinary in this. Love that dude. I love him, man. He's great. He's such well, a two, good egg. You two together. Uh, I'm excited about that. I know this much is true is on uh, HBO. Um, uh, uh, everyone that comes on our show, first of all, thank you again for coming on. We asked if you have a charity or something you want to highlight or spotlight. And you chose uh, Homeless Healthcare LA. Um, yes. How'd you get involved with that? When I first came, when I w first was in Los Angeles, I was on a show called Crossing Jordan, and the creator, uh, Tim, Kring, Tim Kring and his wife, Lisa, introduced me to this. Um, and I was able to tour uh, the facilities downtown. And it just has, has been in my radar this whole time. It started in 1985. Um, it's just been providing services to this enormous, vulnerable community in Los Angeles. We have, like, currently, I think there's something like 60,000 homeless in L.A., 5,000 of which live in Skid Row. And uh, especially now with COVID-19, this is such an extreme, obviously, it's such an extremely vulnerable population. So many, so much, so many of whom have mental illness or are using, cannot get themselves to, uh, to help or get tested or have access to masks or hand cleaning stations um, or any of the, or any just information. And uh, this organization has street doctors who have been going onto the streets of Los Angeles to provide all of those things and access to healthcare and to hopefully um, get them to housing. And so I am so moved by the work that they've been doing. 
And so I would urge your viewers, if not for this particular organization, which is near to my heart, just because it's my hometown, but to search out any homeless uh, organiz healthcare organizations in your own hometowns because these are such vulnerable populations now. Uh, I love that you chose that. Uh, I'll definitely be donating. Um, I know this much is true. HBO, Catherine Hahn, thank you so much for coming on. You're great in everything you do, so I cannot, I'm looking forward to this one as well. Thank You're you, such a dear, and it's so good to see your face. Uh, I love you, bud. Have a I good love you back. Stay safe. Really Stay good safe. to see you. Take care, honey. Uh, uh -huh. so on and on and on. Uh, I said, and it's on and on and on.